Hey, welcome to my channel. And yes, this is the K12, the flagship headphone of AKG. And uh, it is on a crazy sale in Hong Kong right now. And some uh, there is a shop even selling it with the price seven thousand nine hundred dollar. And it's around one thousand and nineteen USD. Probably the cheapest price you can get in the world right now. So I immediately uh, help my friend buy one. And uh, I can keep this for two days before my friend come and take it back. And after one day of using it, I found that I really like this headphone. It surprised me. And uh, so I think I should do a review of it. But before talking about the headphone itself, I would like to say that I'm very happy with that. They include this uh, ohm-shaped wooden headphone stand in their box. It looks very nice to me. The finishing is great and smooth. It it just feels good to have an elegant design that headphone putting on a wood headphone stand in your room. It feels great. But that's my friend's headphone. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. And um the K12 it's a uh, beautiful headphone and uh but I think the structure of it it's it, it feels quite weak in my opinion because they're using some very thin framed and there are many joints so uh, sometimes I even worry about breaking the headband because you know it's it's plastic uh, maybe there are some metal pieces inside but it still doesn't feel very very solid and uh, so I, I I do think you have to be careful while you're using this headphone and um, and uh, it's very light and uh, the clamping force is just appropriate uh, so it's very comfortable for wearing for a long time and uh, but the only bad thing about this headphone I mean the design is that uh, the AKG is still using uh, the single end cable on this headphone so there is only free pin inside uh, so for some audio files, uh, for example, like me, uh, who love using balance system, uh, this is quite disappointing. Uh, even if you want to do some uh, crazy modification on this headphone, it's it's very hard to uh, accomplish. Uh, <clears throat> hard to accomplish. So, and uh, yep, but I still like this headphone because um, it has a very good sounding, of course, and. Um, the resistance of it is just 36 ohm. It's relatively very low compared to other flagship headphones like the HD800. But uh, it doesn't mean it's easy to drive. It still needs a good amplifier. Uh, plugging this directly to some audio player like my friend's DX19 or my AK240 will only provide me a uh, barely acceptable sound quality uh, for me. But um, but uh, uh, of course, I mean it's it, it still sounds good, but uh, you you really want much more from uh, such a high level uh, monitoring headphone, right? But uh, when you are feeding it with uh, enough amplification, it sounds very very open. The sound stage is just spectacular. The width and depth is well extended, and. Um, the layering is also very good. You can easily distinguish all the uh, like the position or the orders of uh, the musical instruments or the uh, vocals, and um, the um, the the representation of the uh, vocals on this headphone is also very pleasing. Is especially the uh, female voice because um, it has a uh, slightly upfront and uh, slightly thick and warm signature and uh, on the, I mean on the vocal part and um, it's triple it's very uh, well extended it's bright and has a slightly sweet tuning and uh, uh, it can reveal tremendous details from your music of course this is a monitoring headphone <laughs> and, um, but the bass is very deep and tight, but maybe the amount is not enough for some bass head listener, but I'm okay with it. And um, overall, it has a very gentle and uh, 
exquisite uh, sounding and if you compare this to other top of the line headphone like the Sennheiser uh, HD 800 or Biodynamic T1 I'd say that the sound stage is uh, of K12 it's bigger than the Biodynamic T1 but not as wide as the uh, HD 800 and um, the level of uh, details revealing on this headphone are the same in my opinion but uh, when you are listening to some classical or orchestra music um, um, you'll find that the K12 it's a little bit lack of momentum uh, if you compare it to HD 800 because uh, the HD 800 just had a way better and mu much more powerful uh, representation on that kind of epic and uh, grandeur feeling and um, the Biodynamic T1 also had a slightly better performance on replaying the um, string instruments but uh, the K12 uh, definitely had a uh, better performance on listening to uh, like pop music or female voice in my opinion and um, but all these kind of uh, flagship heaven has their own sound signature and it's all about our personal preferences so I would never say that which one is really completely better than others so um, I think this is the end of my review and um, Hope you like my review and please subscribe.